Blessing to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. This is Apostle Joe, the Seer Prophet of Asia. I greet you today with the manifold grace and love of the Father to Christ Jesus, the Messiah. Thank you for listening to me and for further information of my ministry. You can log in into www.apostleprophetministries.co.nr I am the presiding apostle of the Apostle and Prophet Ministries Network of Asia and the founder of the Asian Apostles and Prophet Federations. Today I would love to share with you of the important to have faith in the Word of God. And the first important thing in life before you want to enter the kingdom of heaven is to experience the born again experience. Jesus said in John 3.3 3, that you must be born again. Anyone who is not born again shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. And this is what we're talking about spiritual birth born from heaven means to say that our spirit man is dead in trespasses and sins and because of that the result of that is the penalty of sin is death and that is eternal death and we are lost we are sinners that is why as a human being you cannot resist the temptation of the flesh and the work of the enemy and sickness and disease because we are considered spiritually dead without Christ. You are born in sin. And because of that, 2,000 years ago, Christ came, died on the cross, and paid and redeemed the sins of humans until today. It was Jesus who carried our sins, our sickness and disease on the cross of Calvary because he is the son of god god manifested in the flesh god the son the second uh the second uh, uh, in the godhead as god the son who became a man born of a virgin and uh, live in israel uh, some two thousand years ago and god knows that we are dead spiritually that's the reason why we cannot resist temptation and the work of the flesh. We die unto sin and sickness and diseases coming to us and overcome us. But Jesus died on the cross, provided provide eternal life. In John 3.16 says that, For God so loved the whole world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Now, eternal life, is the zoe kind of life the god nature kind of life that when it is breathed upon and put in our spirit our, our spiritually dead spirit man will rise up will have a new life that is the nature of god flowing through the veins to the blood uh, to the bones to the body and to the life and making our spirit man uh, being renewed being transformed from being the children of the devil to the children of, of God, being a dead spirit into a living spirit that is immortal, being renewed. That is what Jesus is telling us, being born again in the kingdom of heaven. And because of that, it is so important for us to realize this and to trust in the Lord. How faith in God means to believe in the redemption, in the redemption work of Jesus Christ that is shed upon the cross in Calvary. That His blood is the living, the, the life of human being. And is, it is the life of Christ. It is the life of Messiah that you need to receive it by grace and unmerited favor, not by the work of of righteousness that we can come to God no 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 but it is by the grace of God it is by the love of God and all you need to do is to repent change your mind for the better 
change your decision from following the darkness and evil and follow God uh, through Christ Jesus and when you repent and turn to the Lord Jesus by faith it is the confession of your mouth in Romans 10 10 says that if you confess that Jesus Christ is being risen from the dead and believe all the redemption that he has done on the cross you shall be saved you shall receive eternal life and that that's the reason why our heart got a door and we have to open that door of our heart to receive Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord we have to admit that we are a sinner we are a sinner we just have to humble ourselves and confess that we have sinned against God and ask the Lord Jesus Christ ask the Father in heaven to allow Jesus Christ to come into our heart so that the life of Christ will transform us we renew us we redeem us will change us will uh, the life of Christ will give you the nature of, of Christ that Zoe kind of of God of God's life that eternal life we call it in us flowing uh, like a, a flow of rivers of living water coming out of us and that is the life what is the life that life is the Holy Ghost it's the Spirit of God that will give you life the life of God in you and making your your body as a temple of the Spirit the Spirit of Christ the Spirit of the Father is that life of God is the power of God is is the nature of God a part of the Lord that we call it the God the Holy Spirit the third person in the uh, triune God the Spirit of Jesus the Spirit of our Father in heaven and when we receive Christ God will impart that Holy Spirit in us so that that eternal life the Spirit of God will begin to uh, to, to 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 release the power of God in us making us become an adopted son of God child of God Jesus said in John 1 2 to do, and he will give power to those who believe him to become the children of God those who receive Christ he will give power to become the children of God children born not of flesh and blood but children born of God by the word of God is so important now today the first step to enter heaven the first step to receive eternal life and to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost is to admit you are a sinner secondly you need to repent you need to change you have to make that decision from today onwards to leave the work of the flesh to leave the work of the enemy and whatsoever entanglement evilness that the enemy has done in your life that making you a slave to sin you have to leave you have to release yourself from the power of darkness and whatever involvement occultism occultism or whatever black magic or whatever involvement that you have done that is not in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and and that you are not following the commandment of Christ you have to leave all that that is what you call repentance a change of mind to the better and repentance also is to believe to have faith in God to believe on the redemptive work of Christ on Calvary and that you receive him that is the thing that I did in my life that was the first step that I did in my life even though I am a Roman Catholic born a Roman Catholic but for 17 years I did not know Christ and then one day I kneeled down uh, alone at home no one preached the gospel no one came and lay hands on me no preachers but then I let and then I just kneeled down and and you know as a Roman Catholic I, all I know is to pray on to Jesus uh, by looking at the the picture and I thought that is the Lord the icon and I kneel down and I look at the picture and I said Lord I cried to the Lord I realize I'm a sinner I need to change my life I cannot escape from this temptation on the work on the place help me oh God and that was the day when suddenly that picture just vanished in front of me and instead of that I saw the Lord face to face I saw his eyes full of love I saw his black hair <coughs> his his black hair his face and 
and that's the day when I I just cried to the Lord and I felt his hand so strongly going from my top of my head down to my heart and taking all of this guilt guilty conscience and a burden and was taken away and I for the first time I had a new birth a new life a new experience Christ became my personal Savior and Lord and when I stand up everything was peaceful the power of God just hit me all over my body and there's a uh, there's a, a sensation of feeling of peace and that's the peace of Christ in me and from that day onward I never turned up back from the Lord I was born again I've experienced the peace of God and I have that conviction in me that Christ Jesus was my personal seven Lord I invite you today to pray as such Lord Jesus Christ I thank you Lord that I heard your word I believe Jesus you died for me on the cross of Calvary 2,000 years ago and I believe you are my Savior and you are the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world Lord Jesus Christ I repent from my sin I change my mind to follow Christ to follow you I open up my heart right now and I ask to receive you and I receive you and I confess you are my Savior you are my Messiah and you are my King and Lord come into my heart come into my heart Lord Jesus Christ I ask for the Spirit of Christ to come into me and change me I ask oh Lord I confess my sin unto you and forgive me for my sin cleanse and sanctify me by the blood of uh, by your blood oh Lord Purify me by your blood and I rededicate my life and consecrate my body, soul, and my and my, my, my spirit unto you. From today onward, I make this world. I will promise to follow you today, to pray and to read your word. Thank you, Jesus, because your word says, if, if I confess my mouth that you are my Savior and Lord, I shall be saved. Thank you for the gift of salvation and thank you for the gift of eternal life. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit lead me all the way through. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In the name of the in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Thank you, Father in heaven. Amen. Brother and sister, you can repeat that prayer. And trust me, if you really repent and change your way. The power of God will be in you. The Holy Spirit will be in you. And impart a new life. An eternal life. The God kind of life. And your life will be changed. Get your Bible. Get the Bible. Start reading the Bible. Because it is the word of God. That will spiritually nourish you. And become a spiritual food. That is the first step I did. After I repented. I get my Bible. And I read. I began to read the gospel of John. Night and day such tremendous peace and hungerness in me and my life was transformed until today that was in 1981 and 30 years later now it's 31st year i'm still strong in the lord and he has filled me with the holy ghost and baptized in the holy ghost i've seen wonderful things brothers and sisters such a marvelous thing if you need me to know more of me you can email me at my email at apostolicseer at life.com.my apostolicseer at life.com.my it's been wonderful listening to me and i bless you this is apostle joe the seer prophet of asia welcoming to the kingdom of god child of god because god is alive and everybody should repent and follow him grace and peace to you from the father from the holy ghost I bless your day in the name of Jesus Christ. Bye-bye.